Bosasa, the word has become synonymous with allegations of tender corruption and state capture. But who exactly is this company in the spotlight at the Zonda Commission and why should you care? The word Bosasa means the future in northern Sutu. It was renamed by Port Elizabeth businessman Gavin Watson in the late 1990s after he purchased the company from Diambu Holdings. Diambu Holdings was owned by a trust belonging to the ANC Women's League. The company's first tender was to operate the repatriation camp Lindela for home affairs. Watson is one of four brothers. His brothers Cheeky and Valens refused to play whites only provincial rugby and Ronnie was an ANC intelligence operative. The Watsons are close to the ANC and Bosasa has donated money and facilities to the ruling party in the past. In 2006, the media revealed links between Bosasa and the leadership of the Correctional Services Department that was handing out multi-million rand tenders to the company. Bosasa effectively privatized South Africa's prisons by providing food, security and fencing to all the main prisons. In 2009, the Special Investigating Unit found that Bosasa had bribed prison's boss Linda M.T. and his financial chief Patrick Gillingham. A forensic report was handed to the National Prosecuting Authority and the Hawks, but for 10 years no criminal action has been taken against the company. Angelo Agritzi was Watson's right-hand man until they fell out in 2017. Agritzi has now turned against his former boss and is spilling the beans. The money that people got from the safe was, was bribe money. 38 government officials and politicians will be implicated by Agritzi's evidence for receiving bribes from Basasa in the departments of Home Affairs, Correctional Services, Justice, Transport and various other government entities.